Hi guys! Today I brought a couple friends of mine. We are going to talk about their similarities and differences between one another. This is PC, which is short for plant cell, which is what he is. Say hi plant cell. How y'all doing? And this is AC, which is short for animal cell. And just like you probably guessed, he is an animal cell. <laughs> hey, hey guys, How, how's everybody doing today? PC and AC are very similar because they are both eukaryotic cells. The big thing with eukaryotic cells is that they have a nucleus in which their genetic material is separated from the rest of the cell. See right here? Here's your guys' nuclei. Plants, animals, fungi, and protozoa have these types of cells. Unlike prokaryotic cells that have their genetic material that is not contained in the nucleus. Why do you guys think eukaryotic cells have their genetic material, DNA, inside a nucleus, and prokaryote cells don't. Uh, oh man, uh, I, I think all that DNA, you know, just, just bumping around would damage some stuff. It, it's gotta, right? AC, you are right. The DNA could become damaged. You can think of the nucleus like a lock box. It's protecting the valuable stuff inside, aka that genetic material. Yeah, man. Keeping it safe. Everything I need to build and grow. <laughs> Alright. Does, does, does the nucleus do anything else though? Yeah. The nucleus acts like the brain of the cell. It controls the activity of the cell and also contains instructions on how to make proteins. <laughs> yeah, what she said, man. Yeah, so each one of these little guys, it, it, he, he's got his own thinker, huh? <laughs> yep. Other similarities is that both of you have a plasma membrane, also known as a cell membrane, and you share a lot of other membrane-bound organelles besides the nucleus, like the mitochondrion, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and such. Now let's talk about the main structural differences in plant cells versus animal cells. PC, you have chloroplasts, you have a cell wall, and you have a large vacuole. AC does not have these things. Yeah, man. Check me out. Okay, PC. Look. This is a chloroplast. This organelle you have is where photosynthesis takes place. It allows you to take sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and turn it into sugar, like glucose and oxygen. Yeah, baby. That nature keeps providing. I just keep photosynthesizing. True. But unfortunately, though, I can't do that. I have animal cells that make up my body, so the only way I can get sugar to use for my body functions is to eat. So uh, it's a it's a pretty complicated energy process for me over here, but uh, at least I get to you know <laughs> taste what I eat. And then again, I can't speak for the flavor of sunshine. Yeah, it's uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, the second difference is you have a cell wall. This is a strong supporting layer around the cell membrane in plants, algae, and some bacteria. Think of it like skin. Why do humans have skin? It surrounds our body. What do you think its job is to do for our body? To straight up keep out bad vibes, man. You are technically correct if by bad vibes you mean stuff like pathogens, such as viruses and bacteria, so they can't get into the body and cause harm. For example... If I put my hand on a desk, there could be bacteria. It doesn't get in because my skin protects me. Oh, jeez. I really hope you don't go around, you know, t touching everything to prove a point. Hey, see? I feel like there might be a wall between us, man. <laughs> get it? I have a cell wall and you don't. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. We're anatomically different or whatever. Oh. Funny though. <laughs> but I feel that I should also mention that your guys' plasma membrane can be compared to skin too because it also helps keep out the bad stuff too in both types of cells. But I have to say, PC, your cell wall is amazing. It is made up of cellulose, a specialized sugar, and your cell wall can be tough, flexible, and sometimes rigid. So in other words, it helps maintain your cell shape. The last thing that we're going to talk about is a large vacuole. In plants, vacuoles are much larger than in animal cells. This allows them to hold a substantial amount of water, food, and other things. Since we know that unlike animal cells, they can't actually get up, 
and get a drink of water. Large vacuoles to store it up like a candle, man. <laughs> or, or I could just get up and walk in the kitchen and, you know, get a glass of water with my legs. <laughs> Some other differences I forgot to mention is shape. Animal cells are mostly round and irregular in shape, while plant cells tend to have fixed, somewhat rectangular, or cube-shaped. Animal cells also tend to have cilia or flagella. Animal cells also contain these structures called centrioles that aid in cell division. Plant cells do not typically contain centrioles. All right, guys, let's end it there. Let's say goodbye and Mi thanks for Ms. watching. Miss G, do I still get extra credit? <laughs> PC, are you on your phone right no, now? No, no, no. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye, you guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. This is my first animation video, so if you liked it, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and feel free to follow. Also, if you can think of some other differences in plants and animal cells, please leave them in the comments. To see what is happening in my own classroom, visit my website at www.mrsgsclassroom.com. You can visit my TPT store and pick up a free worksheet to use with this video or a paid one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.